Hey guys, this is HD, and today is going to be a very special commentary. It is actually going to be a 2v2, so not going to be the HDH Invitational or going to be the uh, any 1v1 pro gamers or anything like that. Instead, going to have yours truly, HD, right here, spawning as the Purple Zerg. My teammate, none other than Pain User, who's actually going to be playing off race today as Zerg as well. So that might already have some of you guys wondering what kind of zany strategy do we have cooked up for you guys today. And in fact, we do have a very special strategy. We are planning to win this game with nothing less and nothing other than the Queen. That is right, we are only going to be using Queens to battle this game and to fight for victory for the Swarm. And so this is going to be an epic battle. Hopefully you guys have your popcorn ready, your sodas ready. Everything's good to go because the next 15 minutes is pure awesome. So our opponents are going to be the Great One, spawning as the blue Protoss player over here at the top left. His teammate is going to be HSL, the Red Terran. And these players, I hope they're ready for what's about to hit them because it's going to be like seeing a big yellow bus and there's nothing you can do about it as it's speeding towards you down the road and you're about to get hit. I don't know, bad analogy, but this game is going to be pretty awesome. Um, it is, once again, 2v2. We do have our overlords moving into position. I'm not going to exactly spoil the build right now, but you guys will see as it kind of pans out how exactly how to do it. I do want to take this time to patent it and call it the uh, HD 2v2 special queen build or whatever. I'm just kidding. You guys can call it whatever you want, but I expect after this game there's going to be a lot of people using this strategy in the copper and bronze league for 2v2 or even for 1v1. Definitely never been seen before, never been heard of or imagined, but uh, it's going to be epic. Now if you guys tune into live stream, then you guys probably already saw it um, a couple of days ago. So by popular demand, I am re-uploading it. So we do have myself throwing a hatchery up at the choke point. Hmm, wonder what this could be for. It looks like I'm going to be, along with Pain User, we're going to be walling in our ramps with our hatchery. So already you guys can see a little bit of strangeness in this build is what kind of competent Zerg player walls off his ramp unless he is an idiot, right? So Pain User and I are both going to be walling off a ramp. We are going to be throwing an additional hatchery here. And I remember telling Pain User on Vent, I said, hey man, remember, don't fully wall off. You, you actually need to leave a little bit of space because otherwise the queens are going to get stuck. And so you guys can see I leave a little bit of space here, but Pain f does a full wall off. So we'll see how that plays out for our strategy. It might actually be really, really bad. Meanwhile, HSL is getting uh, two Raxes and a bunker. And uh, his teammate is throwing up two cannons, so... Both these players already have their spider sense tingling as I guess they've realized something funky is on the horizon and something strange is about to happen, so we'll see how this game goes. One thing to keep in mind is uh, these players, this was played in the placement matches, so we have no idea what rank our players truly are, but just from judging by the fact that the Great One is throwing up two cannons and has the Zealots just kind of chilling here and a forge and no real build order, hasn't really gotten the gases yet. We're just going to assume that he's, you know, somewhere around the bronze level or copper level. HSL, meanwhile, his teammate, not doing too bad. Looks like he's probably going to be the carry for the team. Meanwhile, the second hatchery is underway for both of us, and it's about to be complete, and the queens are beginning to spawn with Lair on the way. Notice that I have not used spawn larva at all. No spawn larva is being used, as the queen's energy is going to be absolutely necessary for victory today. And it looks like pain users' queens are actually getting a little bit stuck. So this queen that spawned out here is actually going to be stuck. It's not going to be able to make its way into the base. That could be a problem for our epic strategy that we've cooked up for today's game. Now the nice thing about this, this build is you can plop up a spine crawler and then you can use queens to transfuse that baby all day long. So with that, it's really hard for an enemy rush to push into your base because they've got to run through this narrow choke. They've got to deal with a spine crawler that has like infinite health. So it's pretty epic. And here we go. The Nidus Network coming down. So now you guys can kind of imagine what we're going to do. Both of us are going to get 
a knight of snap work. Payne is actually throwing his outside of the base because his queens are all spawning outside of the hatcheries. And we are going to knight us our way with queens into somebody's base. Somebody is going to get it. Oh, I can't wait. Looks like the Great One and uh, HSL likewise can't wait either. <laughs> They're going to be pushing out with their small force. And this is actually really bad because queens, uh, the queens suck. Queens are really, really bad at defending um, and dealing with units. So this could be make or break right here as they're actually pushing out with a pretty significant army and I'm probably gonna have to depend a little bit on my teammate pain user here to defend and help me out as the marauders and marines are making their way across the map Uh oh this could be bad and we'll, we're gonna see right now just how good queens are against defending a standard army as the queens are gonna close in the mother loads are coming one queen goes down the spine crawler is going to work and I'm not sure I told pain user I said pain please don't come and help me just hold your own de defense I can hold on with my spine crawlers just fine but pain users like no man I'm a good teammate I'm gonna come help you so he's gonna lose like half of his queens right now <laughs> and uh, you guys can see we're using that transfusion ability to keep the queens alive and you really can transfuse infinitely. Look at that, another transfusion going down. Zealots here marauding the marine, the queens for pain. But we are able to hold valiantly. The defense has held, and now it is time for our...